Once upon a time, there was a young athletic boy. He always think that winning was everything, and the success was measured just by winning. One day, the boy was preparing himself for a running competition in his small village. Himself and two other young boys to compete. A large crowd had gathered to see. Competition. In the same day, when the competition was going on, the boy was very happy, as his father was in the midst of the crowd. The race started. He took his courage and determination, and strength and power. He took the winning lane and was first. The crowd was ecstatic. Children also waved their hands at the boy. But his father remained still and calm, expressing no sentiment. But this little boy, however, felt proud and important. He was so happy to hear the hooting noise from the audience. But the boy was so sad to see his father remained still and calm. So he called the second race with the young and fit challengers to run with him. This time also, the little boy came through and finished. First, once again, the crowd was ecstatic again, and cheered and waved at the boy. Again, he looked at his father to see, but still his father remained. So, for making his father again, he shouted, "Another race! Another race!" And this time, his father stepped forward and presented the little boy with the two new challengers. An elderly, frail lady and a blind man. The boy shocked and asked his father, "What is this, Dad? Is this not a race?" His father replied, "Yes, it's a race." The race was started, and the boy was the only finisher. The other two challengers left standing at the standing line. The little boy was ecstatic. He raised his arms in delight. The crowd, however, were silent. Showing no sentiment towards his achievement, he shocked again. What happened? Why not? Do the people join in my success? He asked his father. Dear child, raise again. This time, finish together, all three of you. Finish together. Continued his father. The little boy thought a little. Stood in the middle of the blind man and the frail old lady, and then. Took the two challengers by the hand. The race began, and the little boy walked slowly, ever so slowly, to the finishing line and crossed it. The crowd were ecstatic and cheered and waved at him. Now his father smiled, gently nodded his head. The little boy felt proud and nodded. Now his father came near to him and kept his hand on the shoulder. Told him, my dear son, for this race you have won much more than in any race you have ever run before. And for this race, the crowd cheer not for any winner, but for the way you ran to finish with them. You realized that they were weak and weaker than you, but still. You were ready to hold their hands and run together to the finishing point. You see in life, in your life, what are you running for? Are you hungry for success? Is winning the only measurement for you in your life? Who are you running against? And if you always win against everybody, then soon the people will stop cheering for you. At the end of your life, if you look back, the question is, who was running next to you in this race? If they were weak and old, did you help them to get across the line? Did you all finish together? Because that is the best race you can ever run. So run, run this race called a life. But don't forget, it is not important if you win. It is important how you run this race.